So the default trial is uh, the stock trial that you'll be able to get when you first join the game. And there's also a golden reskin, and that is also a really sick thing. But today will be a tutorial which I'll be going through uh, the benefits of the default trial and why you should use it obviously because it's uh, actually a very good trial that I made so I just want to share it to you guys and hopefully you guys can get influence and yeah so the default trial is a cheap and efficient trial and it costs like really just one brick per uh, placement so like for a default trial like that it's really just decent and this tutorial will be categorized by two parts the first part is blocking attacks which includes like projectiles and launch and the second category will be about void saving and climbing so make sure to stay till the end and yeah I'll just get straight into it so firstly the default trial can be very viable in order to block attacks which include projectiles and lunge and if the travel is placed and timed correctly it can basically block every projectile uh, and obviously you need to consider the distance that you will be from the travel but ex excluding that then you can legit block every projectile or lunge if you place it correctly at the same time so talking about generally 1v1 situations, no matter if it's casual or competitive, uh, just in 1v1, in my perspective, I play travel like if I feel like going aggressive, then after uh, I strike with all my moves, including Rebo Detonator, Bow, and my Lunge, then I have an instinct, I have a natural instinct to always place a travel behind me since the travel is very very important to my loadout since it is legit my only line of defense and without the travel I'm basically doomed by the counter attack of my opponent. But other than that, if I just feel like playing passive and win the game by playing passive then obviously I can simply just place travels in front of me and shoot projectiles at my opponent and it will It'll work out pretty well honestly since I tried that in a lot of 1v1s one that if they aren't gonna go aggressive then I just go passive with them and I basically block all of their projectiles by my front line travel and just shoot projectiles at them and uh, just win like that. But a key concept that you must have is that the travel they won't prevent you from getting hurt like you will still get hurt even though you place the travel behind or uh, at front of you and like for example you got to be aware of the two main uh, weapons in Super Doom Spire that can control the trial very well and uh, basically the trial has no purposes if you don't know how to play the trial correctly in that certain situation and it is when facing rockets and remote detonator since uh, rockets and remote detonator they have a very huge radius uh, compared to other projectiles like Super Bowl and if you're not uh, aware of the rocket and remote detonator then they can obviously hurt you from the radius so you always need to know where your opponents are and keep a distance even from the travel in order to actually not take any damage and yeah that's basically my advice when you're facing rockets or remote detonator so the other function of the basic trial is that you can do void saving uh, with it and uh, well void saving is very important since uh, if you die by like falling into the void it will still count like in your KDR and it will still count as a death and you really want to minimize the time you die so uh, I'm saying that void saving is very useful and also it's really just annoying when you fall down and like not save yourself so like uh, the travel is like fairly easy to do voice saving compared to the other travels and uh, right now I'm gonna teach you the method of how you like voice save with the travel so for void saving the one thing that you guys got to remember is to never hesitate if you hesitate you basically die and uh, if you hesitate and then you, the only thing you do is to spam your travel underneath your legs then 100% you are like dead meat and then you will definitely die by like falling down uh, because 
obviously when you're falling down your uh, momentum going down is much more harder to uh, accommodate with the travel and the travel cannot handle the momentum and uh, the travel will be placed on top of you which it won't save you basically and uh, if you hear me out on this one then you'll definitely succeed in voice saving so uh, always accommodate your sword swing and put the trowel and this is so 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 important because if you use the sword like if you you're falling down and then you, you click with the sword then basically the sword will swipe like 360 degrees ver vertically and then uh, if you do then you basically stay in the air for like quite a bit and then when the, when you click with the sword and when the sword does the 360 degree thing uh, when the sword passes 180 degrees like by a little bit then you immediately switch to the trowel and then you basically uh, because like right there like at that moment you're basically like uh, stunned and stop for a moment so you get to put the trowel on the middle of your body and you always want to put it on the middle of the body because it's just very efficient than like just putting it down there and and like if you put it correctly on the middle of your torso then your body will automatically lift upwards which uh, the trowel will be able to save you so if you follow my method then you'll obviously be successful unless you, unless you meet some like PV crystal dudes which will definitely ruin your day but otherwise then you'll definitely be successful in voice saving yourself in certain situations where you need to be voice safe and yeah let's move on to the next point so climbing with your travel is like super effective in maps like galaxy and lava because it gives you a variety of pillars to climb on and uh i definitely don't promote like stalling for this tutorial because if you're stalling then just get out of my video right now and like i only use like a certain small amount of zoning when i pvp and like yeah just like if you want to use travel just use the first void saving and like defending yourself and like don't stall with it because it's just annoying and uh yeah basically that's it and i'll see you guys in the next one